Eurostar on brink, desperate Macron urgently sends minister to beg UK for bailout cash. France is in talks with Britain in a desperate bid to rescue Eurostar as the fight begins to keep the rail operator alive but insisted the UK must also contribute to any rescue package. Eurostar is currently 55% owned by French state rail company SNCF. In 2015 the UK government, headed up by then Prime Minister David Cameron, sold its stake to private companies for £757 million. But in November, the alarm bells began to ring when Eurostar revealed it was fighting for its survival. Last weekend, a spokesman for Eurostar said, without additional funding from the government, there is a real risk to the survival of Eurostar as the current situation is very serious. French Transport Minister Jean-Baptiste Jabari has revealed he is in discussions with UK counterpart Grant Shapps. Majority owner France has already pumped £178 million into struggling Eurostar, which has seen passenger numbers crash by 95% since last March following the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, which has severely disrupted travel across the channel. Several reports have suggested that with lockdowns enforced throughout the continent, Eurostar could soon run out of cash. Mr Jabari told a parliamentary hearing in Paris, we are working with the UK on mechanisms for aid that are proportionally pro-rata to the implications of each in Eurostar. The government will back Eurostar to maintain this strategic link between our two countries. He insisted the French state will be at Eurostar's side in order to maintain this strategic link between our two countries. The transport minister added support will be provided based on our involvement in Eurostar, so that we can financially sustain its business model. SNCF Chief Executive Jean-Pierre Farandou told France Inter Radio this week that the situation is very critical for Eurostar. On Wednesday, House of Commons Transport Select Committee Chairman and Tory MP Hugh Merriman appealed for the UK and French governments to make a joint effort to support Eurostar. He warned, we simply cannot afford to lose Eurostar to this pandemic. The company contributes £800 million each year to the UK economy.